summer 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 and it's time for some harvesting i have some fresh mint that i have washed and spun in my salad spinner i do grow that in a separate pot i'm an urban gardener so growing on my towers and growing in pots on my balcony saves me a bundle at the superstores or at the grocery stores so I am getting ready to head out on a uh, whirlwind series. So I'll be on the road at local fairs. And if you're interested in seeing me, then come on, ask me, where are you going to be? Okay, so what I wanted to show you today is I'm making some herb salts. So an herb salt is super easy to make. I have sea salt. I have oregano that has been drying for a while. I have basil mixed in here. And then I also harvested from one of my towers a bunch of chives. Now the chives and the mint will dry down. The mint I won't in include in the herb salt, but the chives I will. So what I'm gonna do with them is I'm just gonna put them in a basket and you don't need any fancy equipment for this, dryers or such. And I'm putting it in a wicker basket. I'm just covering it with a little bit of paper towel. And I'm going to set that on top of my fridge because that's the space I have. So if you have a counter that you can put it on, that's great. You could also dry that in the sun. I do label, not the chives, but I do label things like the mint because mint and basil leaves when they dry look an awful lot alike the other things i love to do is lavender i can grow that on my tower too and when it's dry just pop off the blossoms this is wonderful for tea have you ever made your own teas it is super simple this one i combine sometimes with a an orange oil and sometimes with dried mint leaves the other thing that I'm going to be putting into my herb salt is dried dulse. Now, dried dulse is great for uh, thyroid, for the adrenals, and using sea vegetables. Well, that's just part of the weird stuff that I teach and that I do. I have healed myself of several conditions, none of which is fibromyalgia. Now, the fibromyalgia lives with me and I'm able to do more than I ever expected to do over the years. So this is a simple segment session on drying your own herbs, whether you have 200 acres or you have just a few. So if you have your back porch, you can grow aeroponically on a vertical tower. Easy, easy, easy. See you at the fairs.